Let's see how this one works out today. Yesterday was a day of a, a, a bunch of really difficult, challenging patterns, and so I thought I would take it a little bit slower today. Um, so I'm going to show you how to not tie a San Juan worm, and then maybe a little bit about how to tie a San Juan worm. So we're going to start out with the this is not how you do it um, version. So I've got my thread attached to my hook. I have red thread and I have the really red light chenille. Um, I want that chenille to be just a little bit longer than the body here, but for demonstration purposes, we'll probably make it a little bit shorter. So now that I've got my thread on here, I'm just gonna take a wrap or two around that chenille so I can keep it on top of the hook, like so. And then I'm going to lift this back and we're going to tie a few more wraps here on the front side of the hook. Uh, just like that. Her still behind the eye, but on the hook. And then we're going to take another couple of wraps here to secure that nicely. And then we'll go back onto our hook here. We'll grab our trusty whip finisher. Should be ready at this point to go ahead and cut that thread. Which we will do. You know, yeah, I can see right where you are now. Okay. So I've got, I'm now off of the hook and I'm gonna, let's just say we want this end to be about that long. Just like that. There you go. Um, the one final step is um, you do wanna kind of heat it up a little bit so that you can, you know, um, get those kind of pointy ends going on this fly pattern. So again, this is how not to do it. So here we are, we're gonna work on that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can see what I did wrong there. Okay. Now we're going to try this again. Um, actually, I was just trying to find a way to, you know, make the video a little bit longer. Because um, the San Juan worm is a pretty fast fly to, to tie. Um, of course, I don't do anything fast, so... What should be like a five minute fly, I'll probably turn into a 45 minute video here. So right now I'm just gonna secure some red thread onto my, my hook and grab my scissors and go ahead and cut that tag end off the back there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this a little bit deeper um, into the back um, of the hook here. Just to kind of cover up a little bit of the shank there. Plus that's gonna be in the area where I kind of tie in that first little bit of chenille that we'll use for our worm. I'll try to be better than, I'll try to be nicer than I was last time. Um, so here's my trusty piece of um, red chenille, very thin, uh, perfect for San Juan worm. Uh, the back end, we'll just go ahead and make it about two times the size of the body length. So I'm gonna measure out there's one body length and there's a second body length. And then I'll just, that's gonna be the length. So I'm gonna take it, pinch it in my other uh, finger. Give my bobbin a, a little twist. Pinch that onto the top of the hook here. Make sure you get it all situated the way that you want it. And I'm good there. I'm just going to give it a couple of um, additional uh, thread wraps here to secure that down. Not that I think it's really going to go anywhere, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. And I'm probably wasting a lot of material here, but that's all right, too. Um, from there, I'm going to go ahead and wrap my thread a little bit forward here towards the eye of the hook, um, but not all the way to the eye of the hook. Um, and this is just kind of, this, this way of tying it is just a, I guess, a alternate 
um, that you can use. As I'm basically bringing out my Z mount or my um, super glue here. I'm going to lay just a tiny, tiny little film down here on those thread wraps here. Just like so. So with that done, rather than just putting this over the top of the hook, we're actually going to kind of wind this chenille up the shank of the hook here. And it's only going to take you a couple wraps and we don't we really don't want it to overlap much because we need to keep a pretty solid body size here so here you go got a few wraps there in place with some super glue i'm going to throw a couple of thread wraps here over this end i'm going to pull that material back get a couple of wraps on this side as well um, and then for all intents and purposes it's time now to um, just break out our whip finisher which i've got right here give myself a little bit of thread i'm going to whip finish on the uh, behind the eye here so i do want to kind of get behind that other material here. Just a couple thread wraps, it's not gonna take too much. Just like so. Go ahead and let that come off of our hook. We'll just pull that knot tight. Um, from there, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to find our scissors. We'll cut that thread off here really nice and close. The front side of it, uh, I don't want nearly as long as the back side of it, so I'm going to cut that off, you know, just maybe a hook length. Just like so. Certainly have another enough material to do another one. Probably could have done two if I hadn't been such a goof and decided to catch my fly on fire. So this one is, again, that's probably a little bit long, so we're just going to, we're going to go ahead and take that down to size just a tiny little bit. So the real part of the last um, video, and children, please don't play with fire. Um, just thought of that, that is a really horrible example. Um, yeah, do not. So now I've got my, my aim and flame. You saw how easily this stuff burns. So I'm just gonna move this stuff, the flame in a little bit closer, a little bit at a time. like so you'll begin to see where that um, you know starts to, to melt a little bit so you can kind of get that um, angle or that finer point there and we're going to do the same thing with the back side here Might get a little bit more aggressive. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. We'll do that a little bit more aggressively on this side as well. And that is, that's the San Juan worm. Um, I do have my ultra magnifying glasses on, so I probably will come in and trim some of this tiny little stuff out here because I don't have much to do other than start another fire, so we don't want to do that. There you go. San Juan worm. <laughs>